lot of people don't know this, but our native asset standard is built in a very special way that the native assets are treated as first-class citizens as ADA. So next week, February 24th, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, initiate the Hard Fork Combinator event to upgrade Cardano to support native assets. We call this the Mary HFC event. What that means is now Cardano is going from a single asset system to a multi-asset system, and you, the community, get to issue your own tokens. I expect to see Catalyst flooded with lots of crazy, cool, interesting token ideas. Here's the thing. Those tokens that you issue, all the things that ADA does, they will do. In that, they can go through locking. They'll benefit from the multi-sig. The paper wallet generator, when that comes into Daedalus, is going to be available for years, so you can build paper wallets for a multi-asset. Uh, you know, all the security features are going to be there. We've written multi-asset support into the Rosetta uh, integration for exchanges, so make it very easy for exchanges to list your asset. Uh, also, the governance stack for Catalyst, all these voting mechanics are going to work for your multi-asset as well. So what if you have an asset with its own monetary policy? Well, then it could have a treasury system and we can reuse the catalyst mechanics and the catalyst community to manage the treasury of that particular asset. And none of this code has to be rewritten. It's just a turnkey solution over an arc of time. This is the power and magic of this, that you all uh, can not only have a vocation worrying about the growth of Cardano, but all things issued on Cardano can reuse Cardano's infrastructure and you can worry about the growth of those ecosystems as well and make your career the career of crypto and decentralization. It's a unique time and it's a unique framework.